Hi, my subscribers. You can look at this too, but it's mostly just for um, a few people so far. Hopefully for more. Uh, my name is Taylor Abrahams. I'm 18. Um, I'm, my occupation is a person, which is a full-time job. Um, my, main, my main genre, I guess, would be like folk pop, but I, I haven't pigeonholed myself into anything yet. I was living on my own for the first time Trying to believe in a force-fed line But there's only so many ways to love this world Truly believe and love this world. You got a little rope and you know just how to say it. You got a little rope and you know just how the good things come to those who wait and who that find you can get your break by smiling and yawning. Who said that good things come to those who wait? The song's called Good Things. Um, I came up with it really in fragments. It had a totally different verse initially. It was like a da -da 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 over the, uh, the thing. Yes, this is easy to explain without a guitar. Why don't I get one? Crumping like a metaphor. Had a wave for something more. You got a little blow. Just like that. And I don't know, maybe that could still work into the final product. Um, I, I guess I'd like to keep playing with them um, so that when they finally do get down in their final form, they, they really feel like bottled lightning, I guess. That's a good way to put it. You just have those moments where th things feel like everything's working out in your life enough that you can sort of 
shut up your brain once in a while. And then I was playing that F chord thing, the do 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 thing, and I came up with that. And then really, I finished it out of <laughs> almost necessity for a songwriting course that I was taking in Toronto. Um, because we had to perform a song that night at a venue that they had set up, so. And I'd already done all the other originals, all the ones that were finished and worth listening to. So I sort of made myself sit down in a really calculated way and try and finish it. And then it's just been now that I've been sort of figuring out what I meant with all the lyrics. I, I think it's a pretty open song, but it's basically just about sort of being really impatient, which is something very common for people of my age. There's a level of, of patience you have to have because I think from that you can really get a lot better and sort of swallow your pride. So I guess it's about that too. It was that and sort of thinking about how interesting sort of a hit single, something like a You Can Call Me Al by Paul Simon is. It's like, it's got all this stuff going on, but it, it still works as a cohesive whole. And part of the thing that makes it really work is just this overwhelming um, excitement that it, that it makes. With the dun, 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 dun. So I guess I'm trying to do the same thing with the dun, 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 dun. So that way maybe it's kind of an ironic song because it's about waiting and then there's dun, 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 dun. Well what it would mean is that I would stop having to hear Halo, Halo, Halo! Which would be nice. It would just be about hearing some different sounds on, on the radio. Because I, I swear, I have about 10 songs this year that, that have been big hits. They just use the same four chords in the same ways. And it's... I don't want people to want to make themselves stupid, you know? The, there has to be that counterpoint or both sides are sort of pointless in, in radio. It wasn't alive in the 70s, but it seemed... or 70s or the 60s, but you know, that seemed like a time where there were a lot more sides competing for people's um, attentions on the radio, and, and that's how you find something new, not by just feeding people the same thing. And, and I don't think I'm alone there, see, because people would hear what I just did, and they might think that it's really strange, and that it's cool, but it's really strange, so I, I'd be stuck to some teen-year field, but I don't think it has to be that way. And I, I guess it's my goal to see if it really is like that, and people are that ignorant, or on on the mainstream sort of scale, or if, yeah, if there's a place for something like that. Da, 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 da. write really dumb, dumb things too. I love that too. But um, I work in a more structured way. Because I want to entertain people and, and it takes a lot of the complex stuff to make playing three chords over and over and over again entertaining. You, you need to have that, that background. So I, I want to get to a point where I can do both. Because people know a good song when they hear it and I think that people need to try more for that. Because I think people are a lot smarter than the world lets them think they are. I'm all about entertaining people and, you know, getting lost in something for a little while. And then sort of you take a little shard of that with you and you're a better person for it. <laughs>